hello and welcome back to the video while you're at it hit that like share and subscribe and you will be informed of the next video this is a parody of what's currently going on in the media where black men have grown tired of being labeled as not being politically intelligent and this has been going on for a while evidently as black men have been very supportive of even the black men that have not been pillars of the community like the drug dealers and the thugs who may have gotten caught up black men has been historically known to be supportive of other men trying to lift them up that's in their community. However, this has proven to be failure as the black community continues to suffer because of it, as well as if you look at black femicide where black women are murdered every six hours initially. Now, I believe it's down to every 4.5, but now black men are have decided to take back the responsibility of the community. And we know that in the past, a lot of the responsibility of the black community has historically fallen on the black women's shoulders. And this is a burden that black women should have never been carrying. However, it is what it is. I've never been so offended in my life. She's bringing a man here who is Charlemagne, a false god to a community that has 4,500 churches, all people of faith. We are extremely offended that she's bringing a podcaster here to talk to black men about politics. She brought a retired athlete to Flint who is failing, Magic Johnson, and she brought Oprah to Oakland County as if she understands the plight and the plane of people that look like me. We will not allow virtue signaling or we will not allow identity politics. Black men are not political infants. We know exactly what's happening with the Democratic Party. We know that they've exploited us for over six decades. And we are saying, just like Moses said to Pharaoh, let my people go. You ain't no political dummy. We smarter than that. Yeah, we ain't dumb. Who do you think you are?